Hi guys, uh, just finished no repeat Thursday. The emphasis of the day was short yardage goal line red zone with practice inside. Had a two-minute drill at the end. Our team did very well. I thought that uh, we went through a whole week of preparation for UCLA. Uh, it, was a, uh, it was a good week. Uh, There's some things that we got to get better at, obviously. Uh, we're getting a lot of our players are coming back healthy. I think by next Monday we should be uh, close to full go. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, tomorrow will be focused. Friday will be a short walk walkthrough. Uh, Saturday morning we will scrimmage in Tiger Stadium. It's going to be helmets only. It will be a mock scrimmage. We'll go through every game situation that we can uh, muster up against UCLA. Our guys are going to have Saturday evening off, and then we'll come back Monday uh, to prepare for UCLA. Hey, Coach, uh, if I could ask you just a couple of questions uh, transitioning from last year to this year. Uh, last year when you were going down that hill for the Tiger Walk and you're throwing your arms up in the air like, like you normally do, and there's nobody there to kind of give it back to you. What, yeah. what was that like for you last you know, year? You no, know, it was definitely an empty feeling. It was kind of like fake it till you make it. You know, it just I couldn't show any anything. I don't want my team to say anything, but it was kind of an eerie feeling not to have our fans there. Uh, obviously, we look forward to they energize us. We energize them as part of LSU football. And one quick uh, logistical thing: Do you remember last year, the day before Arkansas? So not knowing if you're even going to play a game until like 10 in the morning or something like that? Yeah, you know, but last year was kind of like got to roll with the punches. You know, it was, uh, it was uh, not everything's normal. Just whatever comes our way, living one day at a time. Now it feels better. You know, obviously we seem like we somewhat back to normal. And we, feel, we know when we're leaving, we know when we're playing, and we feel good about it. Hey, Ed Wilson from The Advocate. Hope you're doing well. Kind of a broad question here. You've said before how defense these days, or football in general these days, is like basketball on grass. Yeah. As y'all try to improve your defense from last season, what do you want to see knowing yeah. that it's so much harder to stop offenses these days? Do you have yeah. certain expectations? Or yeah. is sort of what do you want to see in that regard? Yeah, you know, I know offenses are going to score points. That's what they do nowadays. You know, back in the day when we was at Miami, I think our goal was to limit them under 13 points. I don't think that uh, – that's realistic nowadays. I think the offenses will score points. What I want to do is take care of what we can take care of. Uh, eliminate the big play, the explosive plays, eliminate the mental errors, and play defense. Run through the football and tackle and make them earn it. Hey, Coach. This is uh, Glenn West with LSU Country. Um, just having that extra week to, I guess, prepare for UCLA, the first opponent of the season, just – how, how important is that to, to, you know, get the, I guess, the first game plan yeah. locked and loaded, and then obviously, I don't know if you guys plan on adding anything else next week, yeah. just kind of what, walk us through, I guess, what the next week is like now yeah. that you have the game plan implemented already. Well, you know, uh, that's, that's a very good question. We have, we have a new staff on offense and a new staff on defense, so they're getting used to the way we do things as far as game plan, and our team's getting used to them, uh, us all together doing the game plan together. I think that we did a very good job this week, but as you, as the, the deadline approaches, we see different things that we have to fix. We see different things that we have to run against our team, maybe offensive, defensive, or special teams that we need to make sure of that we can stop or be able to block. So as, as the game approaches, the intensity approaches, and uh, the margin of error, as we know, is very small. So we're trying to cover everything that we possibly can for our football players, especially the first game, because you don't – you have a feeling you know what team you got, but you need to watch them play. And what sort of position battles are sort of still remaining with a week left, if any, and sort of who's kind of in contention at those spots? Yeah, you know, you look at running back, you know, obviously Tyron and, and John are running backs, uh, and I, I want them to be our running backs, but they haven't remained healthy through camp, throughout camp. So uh, let's see if they come back next week. They come back next week and play well, they're going to be fine. But if not, we have to find out who our best running back is there. Uh, at the left tackle position, Cam has done a great job for us. He's, a, he's our starter. But I think Charles Turner can go in there and, and play right away. Uh, I think at the safety position, I think uh, Major Burns has done a tremendous job. Uh, we need to see who's going to be our starting safety next week. Uh, the cornerback position, obviously, I think Eli and Derek is going to be back. The nickel position will be Cornell Flott, so I think we're kind of solid there. The linebackers, like I told you, is going to be four of them. The defensive line, we're going to rotate ten of them. So most of the position is solidified. None of my Ashton Sand. Our guys know that uh, the depth charge can change any time. They have to perform at a high level. And then the quarterback, you know, Max has done a great job. And Max is our starting quarterback. 
But if something would happen with Max, I have no problem putting Garrett in. He's at a phenomenal camp. Hey, Coach, yeah, just a, a quick follow-up from me about the last question I had. Just how much does, I guess, watching UCLA this weekend, I guess, kind of alter the game plan? I mean, do you guys plan on – I mean, obviously you plan on watching yeah. the game, but just the vision, like what you see severely altering just – you know, I, I, I don't know about altering the game plan, but maybe we see something new that we have to adjust to or maybe run, maybe a new blitz, uh, maybe a new coverage, maybe a new front, maybe a new stunt, uh, maybe a new run play, maybe a new protection or pass route. Usually that's what happens in the first game. Uh, we can see the tempo of the game or how they're going, but obviously, you know, the first game, you know, sometimes you run some of your stuff, not all your stuff. And I'm sure that Chip has some a plan for uh, LSU that he will not show Hawaii. Hey, Coach. Every game, obviously, is, is one game. But a season opener, the first chance to, to see your guys set yeah. the tone for the year, especially coming off of last year where you, you feel like it didn't go the way you wanted to. How big is it to just start on a, on a good foot and see what yeah. you want? Well, it always is, but especially this year. Especially this year. Our, our team knows it. You know, we're going across the country. We're playing in the Rose Bowl. We're playing on a national stage. Uh, no, we didn't play like we wanted to last year, but you know what? We ended, we ended up with two big wins. Hopefully, we can continue to play well, and continue to build a championship program that we're building. But this game is probably the most important starting game that I've had since I'm a, a head coach, and our team knows that. For us to get in the right foot to get to where we want to be, we have to start well. Anybody else? Hey, Coach. Matthew Bruni from 24-7 Sports here. Uh, you mentioned the run game. Uh, just with the offensive line uh, being banged up, and like you said uh, last night on the radio show, you expect everyone to be back pretty much. Uh, just where is the confidence uh, going in, going into uh, week one of preparation with the run game? And uh, just uh, what are you looking to build on here uh, before you see that? You know, I think that we get Chase Hines back. I think we get Anthony Bradford back. I will be full go. And uh, those guys are experienced. Uh, they haven't uh, practiced the whole um, camp together. But I think that won't take them long. I think next week, if we can get them all together for a week and uh, we get some continuity, I think those guys are going to uh, perform very well because they're experienced. And just looking ahead for a second, TLA, just because obviously the hurricane and stuff, not sure we'll get to talk to you next. You spent a, a good bit of time out there. Is there still a place that sort of resonates or means something to you that yeah. from Los Angeles? Oh, no question. Yeah, I mean, I was uh, spending 11 great years out there. USC was a, a great place. My, you know, my, my babies were raised there. Uh, we had a great time there. I lived there for 11 years. I loved Los Angeles. I loved the people of Los Angeles. I loved USC. I had a lot of great friends. I had a lot of friends out there. But you know what? I'm happy, proud to be at LSU, which is home, and, and to be able to go back into the Rose Bowl. Uh, we've had some battles in that place, and uh, it, it's a tremendous place to play. Coach, we've talked so much about the freshman wide receivers this camp. A couple of the older guys, uh, Jare Jenkins and Coy Moore, what does their camp look like? Jare's been phenomenal. Coy is, uh, has been, been very well. He's battled some injuries. Um, he's been in and out, but uh, as we know, Coy's a very hard worker. Coy's one of the guys maybe works a little too hard. We got to back him off a little bit, but he should be ready next next week and uh, and and ready to have a good season. Hey Ed, uh, just a couple of housekeeping things. How how much do you monitor the weather? I know Sunday's off for you guys, so yeah. that's good. But but then trying to get him back on Monday, and then um, what do you want to get out of Saturday before yeah. you know you kind of pack up? Yeah, Saturday's going. Uh, you know, it's a it's a mock game. You know, we're going to have a a look squad. We have the team split up. I want to get the team running on and off the field, get our substitutions first, second, and third down, march down the field, get the punt team on, get the punt return team on, just like a game-type situation, going at halftime, making our adjustments, and end with a nice overtime so our guys have gone through every scenario. Uh, but it's not going to be a full-speed scrimmage. It'll be helmets only. I want to keep our guys fresh, not get everybody hurt, have a good day. Uh, yes, well, we do monitor the weather. Uh, I haven't heard anything. Uh, except with you guys, but I'm sure that uh, Jeff uh, Jeff De uh, Jeff Griggs monitors the weather for us. Derek does. Austin does. They're gonna let me know what's going on. 
Hey, Coach Ed in New Orleans here. I apologize if you've asked this, answered this question already. I just got finished doing a newscast, but um, does what's going on with the weather, with with the hurricane, change your thought about how you prepare, or is there any kind of contingency in place as to what you might do? Yeah, we haven't talked about it yet, Ed. We have to see how severe it is, but obviously we're very well versed here in hurricanes and. If it's something that we feel like that we have to have a contingency plan, I'm sure I'll meet with the athletic director and do it. Uh, we, but we haven't had those discussions yet. It's just popped up. Uh, Sunday's our day off. Hopefully we can stay here and hopefully everything's okay. First of all, the safety of our players and the families is going to be first, obviously. But hopefully we can practice here. We've got an indoor practice facility. Hopefully we can continue on with our preparation. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Go Tigers.